Welcome back everyone to the Creative Coders. Today we have a very, very special Spotlight Saturday where we'll talk about one of my personal idols and an incredible person, Dr. Joy Bonamwini. Before we talk about her amazing work, let's remind ourselves that we are confident, creative, and capable coders, as well as people in general. Dr. Bulumini is a scholar, an activist, and an algorithmic bias expert who has done research on something called algorithmic bias, among many other things. Now let's break down a little bit about what that actually is. So let's think about a phone that could recognize your face when you're trying to unlock it. This is typically called facial recognition. But in order to recognize a face, your phone isn't just remembering what you look like. It first needs to identify that your face is in fact a face. That sounds kind of simple, right? Actually, not, not really. It very much depends on how the algorithm that determines if someone's face is a face was created. An algorithm is simply a step-by-step -step set of instructions. And if it's looking for certain features when evaluating if something is a face or not, that can quickly become pretty problematic. Let's think about why. So some algorithms that classify, such as trying to classify whether something is a face or not, are trained on a data set. With facial recognition, we use pictures of faces to train that algorithm to identify if a picture is a face or not. Typically, this algorithm will learn to associate certain facial features and shapes with faces. But let's think about what might happen if the pictures used to train the data were predominantly white and male. In that case, the algorithm, though not biased by nature, would learn a bias towards detecting faces that had features common among white males. We can see this playing out in real life. In fact, Dr. Bonomini conducted research while doing her graduate program that was explored in a project called Gender Shades. In this research, she found that most facial recognition software, such as those from IBM and Microsoft, had error rates of 47% for darker skinned women in contrast with the 1% error rates for lighter skinned males. These results have significant impacts on people's lives, a fact that sparked Dr. Bolomini's determination to create the Algorithmic Justice League. This league advocates for ethics to be considered at the forefront of product design and artificial intelligence innovation. It also highlights those real life consequences of what biased AI can do, specifically as it relates to things like housing, employment, facial recognition, and criminal justice. To wrap up this Spotlight Saturday, I wanted to share a quote from Dr. Bulumwini. She said, fighting for algorithmic justice is my calling. Like Dr. Bulumwini, you can find your calling in technology. A more diverse, equitable, and inclusive world of technology is one that is fundamentally better to live in. Whether you're just starting out or already a creative coder, your voice is valued and a critical piece in helping our world be a better place for everybody. Thank you so much for listening, and I've included some additional work by Dr. Bulumini in the description box so that you can get some further inspiration and insight. I hope you're all having a lovely weekend. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you on Wednesday for the next episode in our Python Essentials course.